Hello everyone. I am Mauricio Luzuriaga, the Universidad San Francisco de Quito in Ecuador. Thank you, IASS 2020-21 and SORI 7, for allowing me to present my research paper. The title is Two Replicas of Candelas Los Manantiales in Ecuador. I'll proceed with the presentation. By the late uh, 50s of the 20th century, Felix Candela was known as the Wizard of Shells. Candela realized he achieved his masterpiece as soon as restaurant Los Manantiales in Xochimilco was completed. An in-depth literature investigation that included Progressive Architecture, the Architectural Journal with the world's highest circulation, and the canonic book Candela, the Shell Builder by Colin Faber, that was released in 1963 led us to the identification of 27 growing gold shell projects derived principally from Royal in Xochimilco. From them, the least known pieces are the built in Ecuador, here on the left. In 1978, the Ecuadorian Army Corps of Engineers, or CCE, devised a plan to deploy standard-type casinos at all military compounds. Each new casino roof was meant to be identical to the Xochimilco shell. The CCE started simultaneous construction at two military posts, one at the city of Esmeraldas, close to the Pacific Ocean, and one in a remote tropical rainforest location. Here on the left, are the 1957 construction plans for Los Manantiales. In the middle is the floor plan featured in the 1963 book by Faber, and on the right, the 1978 structural CCE plans. The latter is a verbatim copy of the points in Faber's book with slight arrangements. Specifications are ma uh, were made to lift by 1.82 meters the entire shell. Consequently, ease of access to the roof was blocked, and gargoyles discharged rainwater on the planter, solving problems found at Los Manantiales. Juan Gonzalez, the engineer of record, realized a valuable contribution to the project. He proposed an alternative construction process. He saw a way of building this scaffolding without using the conventional straight line generators of the high part. Instead, he developed a system translation of surface parabolas. First case study, the Montufar Battalion Casino in Esmeraldas, Ecuador. This casino was placed on a high mound overlooking the city of Esmeraldas. Unfortunately, this casino was affected by an earthquake and collapsed just before it was completed. Uh, these are the only known to date photographic records of the Esmeraldas Casino. The structural survey completed right after the earthquake informed that the structural failure of the shell was consequence of insufficient overlapping of steel tie bars. Thus, lateral thrust at support points was not properly resisted. The long-term aftermath was the cancellation of plans to create similar casinos elsewhere leaving only one replica of Los Manantiales in Ecuador, the one in Coca. Second case study, Auditorio Amazonas Casino. The isolated condition of the brigade signified very complicated construction and logistical difficulties. Enormous amounts of wood poles and boards were procured nearby. Aggregates were available from local quarries, Portland cement, and reinforcing steel bars were delivered from Quito. All the specialized hands, such as carpenters, iron workers, and welders also came from Quito. Less skilled construction workers and low rank military personnel were secured locally or at the brigade. Photographic records show that the umbrella footings faithfully comply with Candela's specifications. Wood uprights and horizontal stringers with spare diagonal course bracings held in place the wooden board parabolic scaffoldings. The mold, the mold 
the former surface level uh, leveled uh, staves were nailed on top of the false work parabolas starting at the lower portion of the groins and proceeding upwards consequently the formworks meet forming a herringbone pattern juncture steel reinforcing was laid as per engineering stipulations dry mix concrete pouring was carried on one bucket at a time the images show pouring started at the summit finalizing at the groins from the time the Amazon Casino was inaugurated in 1980. It has enhanced the life of their users. It is memorable because of its spatial characteristics. For four years, it remained mostly unnoticed until a public highway suspension bridge was built near the brigade in 2000. Conclusions 27 thin shell groin bolts were drawn and studied. As references that preceded the Codorin Hypar bolts that were meant to be identical to Los Manantiales. One was never fully completed. The remaining one is the largest, largest curved edge shell in Ecuador and has been presented in detail to the academic world for the first time. Their designers and builders achieved a construction triumph because they overcame the technical challenges of an unprecedented building in the country. Recently, the author submitted the Auditorio Amazonas as a candidate for monument designation by the Ecuadorian National Institute for Cultural Patrimony. Thank you for your attention.